A growing number of child abuse and neglect cases are caused by their parents' addiction to the deadly drug ice. It's just one of the alarming findings that show Queensland's child safety problem is getting worse. The latest child safety statistics are chilling, not least because behind each number lies the story of a child suffering, of innocence lost. The department receiving thousands more reports of child abuse and neglect than the previous 12 months. The child safety minister's job has looked anything but. Nine children have died in the last two and a half years, including the high profile case of Mason Jet Lee. This government uh, has taken child safety from crisis to crisis. Shannon Fentiman does not know what she's doing and she needs to go. The figures released today hardly ease the pressure. The drug ice creating a whole new world of childhood pain. I think it is terribly distressing to see so many of our families grappling with ice addiction. 33% of children are under care because one or both parents use ice. 9,340 children could not live safely at home. The number of child safety notifications continues to rise. I do think because we are talking about child abuse and neglect in our communities, more and more people are coming forward. Disturbingly, child safety campaigner Hetty Johnson says the problem is even worse than governments let on. Oh, I don't think the government are being totally honest. I think they never have been. And they never will be probably, this, which is why we need the Commissioner for Children to be reporting to the Parliament, not to government. One thing's for certain, the issue of child safety isn't going away anytime soon. An expert panel is in the final stages of reviewing the foster care and blue card systems. Its recommendations expected within weeks. For Wilmington, Nine News.